Our second question is from a sister, and this is for Sheikh Ismail Mank. Assalam, dear Mufti Mank, I have been married for nearly 13 years. My marriage life is not easy, and I do not understand. It, and I understand it's a test from Allah. I'm trying with patience. I always forgive people, and I would always make excuses. However, my ha husband hates this. He prays and not at all, but he prays and everything. However, his relationship with other people is very bad. He he tells me that I will not enter Jannah as he is not pleased with me and in his eyes. So it's as if he is threatening her with by disobeying, uh, disobeying him that he, she may not enter Jannah. And I am a failure as a wife. All lectures, local or international, have said that wives have to obey husband, which I am trying and it's very difficult. I have children and I'm teaching, educating Islam in them. Uh, I find it very difficult. What is your advice for me, Sheikh? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I think uh, the sister needs to bear patience by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and continue to try and try her best. Remember, obedience for anyone in the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not applicable. So you have to obey your husband, yes, correct, but you don't obey him where he is wrong, where he is unreasonable, where he is asking you to do something in the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if he does have bad habits or bad relations with people and you have a good relation with people, uh, perhaps you would like to speak to him once in a while. I know you say you were married for 30 years, which is, is not easy to change a person after 30 years. But uh, with dua and with a, a trial, a beautiful trial by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will be able to achieve. I just want to put into, uh, you know, put everyone into perspective here that we who are married, and I'm sure a lot of us here are probably married. May Allah grant spouses to those who are not married as well. I mean, oh, he says, and those who are married as well. Okay, inshallah. If 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 that's applicable in your situation, alhamdulillah. Oh, mashallah. I see, Sheikh Abdurrahim told us a joke. Maybe he wants to repeat it for us a little bit later. No, no, no. You need to say it again. There are people who don't know. Inshallah, we'll get to you, Sheikh. So. They say those who talk about it do not do it. So when your husband talks about it, don't worry, he won't do it. I hope you heard what I said, mashallah. So getting back to what we were saying is, every marriage has to have some degree of sacrifice, challenge, obstacle. There has to be. You will never ever have 100% compatibility except in Jannah with the same person. Subhanallah. That's when you get 100% compatibility, so much so that you're just thinking of something and they're thinking of the same thing and you're like, wow. It can happen with a lot of people. I think the maximum maybe that I have seen is perhaps about 90% compatibility, alhamdulillah. But the truth is you have to have challenges so that you can appreciate Jannah. You can appreciate what Allah has kept for you. So don't think, oh my husband, everyone has to complain. If everyone were to complain, we'd all draw up a list. You know, I heard one sheikh recently speaking about uh, an issue where people were complaining to one wise man. And so the wise man says, okay, every one of you, write down your 10 of your major problems in your life. So they all wrote it and they brought it and they put it here. So in the next gathering, he tells them, right, each one of you come here and pick out a set of problems that you are happy with. Pick out a set of problems that you are happy with. So he says, the people came and now the problems are jumbled up. You have to have some test in your life, don't you? Allah says he's going to test you. You need to have some set of problems, don't you? So he says, as the people came, they picked the first paper and quickly put it down because there were big problems in there. Pick the second one, quickly put it down. Pick the third one. When they picked a few, they said, no, 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 no. We want our paper back. So people say we want our own paper back, which means Allah knows your capacity. He's given you issues and tests which happen to be upon a capacity that you can handle. And that's your paradise. But yes, if some oppression is happening to the degree that is unacceptable and it's continuous, you, you are allowed to seek termination of that marriage. You know, divorce is something very permissible in Islam, but it's, it's frowned upon if it's done for nothing, if it's done without trying. 
if it's done without actually trying to mend, then it's frowned upon. But if it's done as a last resort, by all means, it's actually a means of getting closer to Allah because your stress would be less. Sometimes people are married and they're in such a difficult condition. Allah does not doom you to say, stay in that condition forever. But He says, look, try, make it work. If you really cannot, then Alhamdulillah, you can seek a dissolution of that particular situation. However, getting back to the issue, try your best. It's been so many years. We've got a few years remaining of our lives. We try our best to maintain. It doesn't seem like it's such a major issue. Sometimes we make, uh, you know, small issues appear to be so big because we constantly uh, complain about them and so on. I'd like to think that the sister is only asking for guidance. So these are the few words of guidance. I mean, you would never hear from me to say, sister, you have a problem, break your marriage and carry on. That's wrong. It's not advice. And the reason why I say this is our friends tell that to us. Sometimes we have a small marital issue. You know, my husband, he swore me today. Oh, that's it. If I were you, I'd go home. But you've been sworn 20 times and you haven't gone home. Why did you give your friend the wrong advice? That's the thing. Why do you want to see them being divorced and sitting sad? Give them advice. Look, you know, the men, they do that. Address the situation. Talk to him. Write him a note. You know, maybe tell him how much you love him. You know, do a few romantic things. That's your husband at the end of the day. And you know, how many of us have actually had a rose that we've put under the pillow for them to just look at and smile? A few, perhaps very few. But then we want to complain that, you know, our marriage lacks romance and so on. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to work on our marriages and to appreciate the set of tests that we will have within the same marriage. Jazakumullah khair. Ameen.